guys good morning i hope you guys are doing great uh yeah uh, it's a really crazy week so guys today i'm gonna tell you about how to get football trials in lithuania uh this is not the formula that i use but this is the thing i think this is the formula that if you use it it could be effective to you but before we uh, get into how to get trials in lithuania i have to break down to you the league systems so lithuania has about uh, five leagues five steps and to up to this the sunday league so the first year is called the a league which is a pro, uh, pro league and uh, it consists of 10 teams obviously i think i believe that to get into that uh, level it's not a matter of trials I think 90% of the time it has to be your agent doing that for you and you have to come with some profile in that sense like you have to have a profile that they're gonna have because these are teams that if they win the league they obviously play uh, European football talk of Champions League qualifiers, Europa League qualifiers, Conference League and uh, all that so this is uh, 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 how do you call it the pro level and uh, uh, 9 out of 10 they're just going to deal with people that already have like uh, good CVs and stuff so it's it's not a good place for starters and then out of the 10 teams obviously there's relegation and promotion so I think the last two or the last one get uh, relegated to the to the second to the second uh, tier which is with the second tier is called the I league or the first league and that's the second tier and that's where uh, the club I was playing for is FK Minijen and the second tier is uh, it's not pro it's semi pro because they a lot of a lot of players have to work and uh, it's not like full time you train uh, three to f three 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 times a week I'm just talking from my team but because uh, me and the foreigners the team were in me and the foreigners would like train every day because we really don't have to go to work and stuff like this so we were really like just focusing on training and we were three and the coach would just get the balls take us down and then we would train and then um, <coughs> sometimes we train twice because we train in the morning and in the evening when the other players that go to work come and join and then um, from there you go there is a you get promoted I mean you go down to the third tier to the third tier which is called the I uh, second second league technically the third tier and obviously it's same thing amateur and um, it has uh, obviously the second tier uh, the second tier which is the first first league has uh, 14 teams and then two get relegated to the third league and the third league has um, one second the third league has 18 teams okay so the third league has 18 teams and uh, it is co it consists of zone uh east north south west zones and uh, it's from these zones that's where they play and then they you know what it, you know you know what it is like the winners from this zone i think they come up and then divide for the promotion and the fourth league which is uh, above the sunday league it is consists of counties and um all these are um i don't know teams once again it consists of zones okay consists of counties so these are actually teams run by the counties for example or how do you say it? in other places you say it's mon mon municipalities or something like this i'm not sure but yeah this is how it's run and uh, then below it you have the sunday league sunday league obviously it's it's all people that are uh, that just try to keep themselves uh, who love the game just trying to keep up with the game that are there so uh, this is the uh, football pyramid in lithuania this is the pictures is going to be up here you guys are going to see or um, i'm not sure i was going to be a video or something or a picture but yeah this is the that's the pyramid so uh <coughs> like i said the first the first year which is the a league is uh pro league so if you're just new it's not the good one for you the second league which is like uh semi-pro and this is the it's a good level for start because if you play good there you find yourself like going somewhere so this one uh it's 40 teams and they are all distributed all over the country so what you just do is 
the hard man way, knock on the door, hey, I'm here, can I train with you? Whatever they say, the worst, the worst case scenario is like, no, we are not looking for anybody, we cannot allow you to train, that's the worst case scenario. So yeah, that's that. Or you have like, uh, you can go through players, if you like, you, 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 you go through this club's Instagram or Facebook and just look it up, like if you see a player that plays there, you reach out to him, message him, hey, like man, hey, this is who I am and I would like to come and troll, I use your team to conduct your trolls and I tell you, 9 out of 10, a lot of players are really good, they'll tell you, yeah, you can come down or uh, we're not having trolls, they'll give you the information within the club. And that way you can already like know oh okay i can go here or i shouldn't go here so you can do that through going to facebook linkedin and whatever you can also reach out through the coaches or you go on soccer way and get the emails of this place but i'll tell you this uh nine out of ten nobody's going to get back to you via email but again it's worth giving it a trial because it, now that I look back and I realize how many emails and tweets are sent out to teams on um, Twitter, like man, I was crazy. Yeah, but yeah, you could you could also do the same thing. And I was lucky. Sometimes I I get response and stuff like this. But again, it's not as effective as just um, uh, looking out for who the coach is or who the assistant coach is or anybody within the club and message them, you know, and. Um, then from there, you can find out that information if you need to go there or if they're not looking for anybody. It's very difficult for these teams. I haven't seen any team that post on uh, on Facebook that they are op doing open trials, but usually they do it behind closed doors. So they don't tell players, but it's those that have uh, information from inside that you will be able to do this. And usually they do it before the season start, obviously. And uh, with that, you just stay with them for like a week or two playing friendlies and stuff and then they do screening and until like when they're now done with their squad then yeah so that is another way through the contacts from within the club the this the, the ways of giving apply to all these other how do you call it apply to all these other leagues except the first league they apply to the second league third fourth up to the Sunday League, but obviously Sunday Leagues they don't do trials and Sunday League there's nothing they're gonna offer you anyway Or obviously if you're good, they'll keep you around whether you even if you're not good They can try to keep you around just to play with them and um, Out of the numbers because you find that these guys can't even like Last 30 minutes, so it's it's just one of those things But yeah, I'm, I'm mainly focusing on the second league and uh, the third league which is uh, obviously the interest for most of you guys that are watching my channel and uh, <clears throat> the third other way is um, if your agent cannot do it or anything then I these guys don't have scouts but again you can never know it's through scouts that these guys can get you to take you down there so if you happen to meet a scout from within these people then they can obviously like uh, give you a chance to go there and try with them but like I say it's not every day that you're gonna be playing and then uh, scout is there watching and stuff like this but another thing is number one very important thing is yes you need to be in this country you need to be in this country for all this to happen obviously if you're far it's complex but if you're within Europe already or you're within Lithuania and stuff like this then uh, it makes it very uh, difficult and I'll tell you again this is uh, the second league has very very good players. I mean when I was there I used to watch some games and I've seen some guys that are really good There are some Japanese players that were really good and also some other guys that are really good and the team that got promoted the Dai, Dai Nava It had some very good uh, foreign players. Usually the foreign players are the difference makers in these teams So when you come and you're a foreigner, well, you expect it to deliver and then change things don't come with, if you're coming from place that's hot, don't come here when it's winter because, man, it's uh, it's not going to be good for you because you're going to struggle a lot with the weather and stuff like this. And again, another thing, the pay is not good, but Lithuania is cheap. So if, they, if they're if sorting you, like giving you livable conditions, they're giving you house, food, and then um, a little bit of salary, then yeah, that should be, uh, how do I say, it should be enough for you to live off it and try to play football in Lithuania 
So these are the few ways that you could just get yourself playing in Lithuania. But first, make sure you have the visa to come to Lithuania. Or if you're already in Europe, it is this is actually very easy for the players that have EU passports. If you have EU passport, it's very easy for you because all you just need is just show up because there's not much you're gonna do. And also with EU passport, you can be able to uh, do something, work and uh, earn some extra money on the sides while you play. Just go to work like the other guys. Until the team I was in, we had a player that didn't stay in the city because we are living in uh, Kretinga and this guy was is he was a university student in uh, Vilnius. So he only comes on Fridays to train once and then goes for the game. But on the other days, he doesn't doesn't train because between uh, Vilnius and Kretinga is like about five hours drive, so you can't do that back and forth every day. So he stays in the city. He trains wherever he trains and then he comes here with, uh, to train uh, train the last day of the training or sometimes he just has to show up for the match day and he plays. He's a local so again it's um, there's nothing they, they, could, they could do about it because he couldn't jeopardize his university for just the league and all that. And like I told you guys the pay is not great but if you're unlucky they give you a house and give you food then it that's the starter pack that you need so uh, yeah, that's how you can get your soft football trials in Lithuania. Get the contacts from within the club, talk to the players, be lucky that you find a scout, send out emails, like go to Sokaways or Transfer Market and all this, you'll get the information there. And uh, yeah, that's the, the only way. Or if your agent is strong enough, then your agent should do that for you. But. I would actually recommend that you guys find yourself agent to do these things for you because man, it's way complicated than I thought doing it alone because you don't get the respect that you should be getting when you're dealing with these guys personally and there's a lot of many things they can do to you. So yeah guys, that's the pyramid in Lithuania and how to get your food, yourself football trust in Lithuania. Again guys, uh, I mean, the, the, the people that are watching are 50%. 51% have not subscribed and it's like 49% that have subscribed. Please guys, let's support this. Show the love, subscribe, share. And uh, I try to be bringing more content every now and then. Um, and I tell you guys, I don't know this, but I miss those days when I was actually just traveling around looking for clubs and sleeping on the streets, sleeping at the bus stations and all this. I miss those things. And it's not because I'm saying I miss the suffering, but... I just miss that I'm looking forward to something because right now I'm a little bit uh, uh, settled and I'm not playing so it's it actually bothering me but uh, believe me guys in June or July in the summer this summer 100% packing my bags and hitting the road again I mean this time with um, a lot of better mind and stuff so we're gonna do um, just that unless something comes up but otherwise that's the plan for the, for the next window for the coming window, just pack my bags, go look for trials this time. At least now I've prepared myself, saved up some money, and um, yeah, I could be able to do that again. And uh, I, I mean, I'm going to give you guys a lot of content. Not doing it for the content, but I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do it, and we see again if it's if we, if it don't work out, it's still fine. We come back, go back to drink board, and repeat the same thing. So uh, yeah, guys. Support the channel. Let's um, hit 500 subscribers. It's we are at 464 right now, and I believe we can hit um, a thousand before the end of the year, and it's possible with you guys. So uh, yeah, guys, and anybody that is interested in doing a collab or if you're within Portugal and you want to meet me, we sit down for a chat and just do talk about your stories. May we can do that. If you also want a Zoom call, we can arrange a Zoom call, and yeah. We hear your stories. So until then, guys, peace out.